What is up? And I welcome each and every one of you back to a brand new video. We are back. I am looking good with this beard. I mean, my God, I'm not trying to be anything like, uh, yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I didn't have the face cam the last time because I did want to make sure that some of you guys still had a chance for No Nut November. But honestly, if you're going to win that, you got to deserve it. And uh, I guess it's I, it's not the worst thing if you lose to the Civ Lifer. But we are back and we are... Oh my god, is this Shrek Swamp? Is this the setting for Shrek 4? Look at all this, Marsh. We have an absolutely perfect strategy. Now, we are playing Egypt right now, but that doesn't matter. Uh, I really only picked her for the Itiru unique ability. Wonders get extra production near rivers. You know, looking at the swamp in the wetlands, Marsh, you might understand that this is going to be an Etemenanki type game. Not only that, but we are also going to go for the Marshlands Pantheon thing. I guess we'll just call it Shrek Swamp. Uh, but we are going to. It is sort of an edited map, but I didn't make it too broken, I guess. I do like settling on diamonds and spices are pretty nice, especially if Europeans aren't in this game. But let's go ahead and found the city of Rock Headed. This is the... I'm going to change it. Nope. We're actually changing this shit. We're going to go Shrek's Swamp. That is exactly what we are going to do. Now, the only city-state I did place is a faith city-state down there so I could secure the Pantheon. But obviously, we're going to go riding into mining. And I am going to do whatever it takes. Sacrifice whoever I need to. And uh, hopefully, we should be able to get both Etamanaki and the Marsh Pantheon. Let's go ahead and hit him with a double slinger. And I don't know about Monument. We'll see. We'll see. Let's next turn it. Is there where's the Wonder Builder policy card thing? Is it here or there? I think it's I think it's state workforce. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to get that before at Timonaki, but let's just continue. Uh we'll hit next turn. We're gonna be growing super fast. Oh my god, that's barbarians in clans game mode. That is pretty bad, but there's a city state of Armach, and that's gonna give us a solid amount of faith. And we already have a monopoly. What? What monopoly do I have on a luxury? I, I, I don't understand, but apparently we have a monopoly. I don't know how that works, but we do. Let's go ahead and wipe out that barbarian encampment. Just take out a couple of the natives so I can expand in the future. <laughs> And three tile after that. I do have to get a couple builders because I do want to chop out Etimanaki. But yeah, we'll just do something like that. We'll get that's 40 gold. I do like money. I might just buy. No I'm going to buy a way. settler. I'm making 33 gold per turn. I'm definitely buying that settler out right now, quite honestly. But uh, yeah, if you do enjoy, as always, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. It does help me out a ton. And uh, we are going to be back to uh, semi consistent uploads, I guess. I think you'd be fine. You know what? Fight this guy. You're not going to die. You'll be fine. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna be able to do too much anymore. Let's keep going. We'll be able to settle this city in the next turn, and this Spearman is just suffering from some sort of aneurysm or something like that. He's just moving and moving back. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. Maybe that's, hey, <laughs> this is bugs in real life, I guess. But there's archery boosted. That's kind of useless, honestly. But let's go ahead and get the city of Sheddit. Not to be confused with the cesspool known as Reddit. Let's go get that monument real quick. Uh, go fight this guy. Cool. We'll get writing soon, and we're gonna get the Pantheon soon. <laughs> Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, time to back out a little bit. Oh. Easy, easy. All right, what do we have? There it is, Lady of the Reeds and Marshes. Two production for Marsh Oasis and Floodplains, Desert Floodplains. But we do that. Oh my God, look at that. Look at all the production we already have. This is, <laughs> this is, this is nothing. God damn, that's all I'm gonna say right now. Saying governors, but I think for now, um, who do I go for right now? I don't know. We could go. I'm going to go Magnus. We'll go Magnus for now. By the way, 16 turns to Etamanaki. Give me that. But, uh, yeah, this is a map that I kind of, uh, edited a little bit. Tried to make it as fair as possible. Uh, I did surround myself with swamps, so I probably did a bad job of that, but still. We're gonna move you out, and then we're gonna buy a warrior in the city, just to give a little extra combat strength. Uh, we get Etamanaki, not this turn, but next turn. Alright, I think we've secured it for the most part, unless somebody just decided to beeline it just to spite the Civ oh, Lifer. No, There's Canada. Uh, probably one of the best Civs to start near, honestly. Okay, well, we did actually lose the city of Reddit. We do get Etimanaki, though, so I guess at the end of the day... Nah, you're dead. This warrior's dead, too. Oh, my God. Okay, this warrior's dead, too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. A builder? And then we're gonna chop this, and then we could get the campus right on top of there. We don't need to get state workforce yet. We won't be able to get the settler building until I completely miss that up. What is wrong with my brain? Uh, let's settle the city of Apu. 
And you are, we could actually, could we trade Canada? Okay, now we can get an archer, and I think that's a little bit better. We'll get an archer, less combat strength, but we will also have a ranged attack. Natives aren't, oh, that's, okay, you're fine. The ascent to the highest there is the hanging gardens. Double wonder now for Egypt, and if we only had some sort of housing, man. If we had housing or amenities, we'd be okay. Let's go ahead and get the campus, and uh, you're going to just go settle there. Yep. Uh, you're going to fight this guy. So it is kind of it. It's, oh, chocolate hills. Oh my god, I love chocolate. Oh, perfect. I didn't even know Chocolate Hills was there when I was editing the map, and I didn't send that trader to Bologna, because it was a little too far away. Let's continue moving. Uh, catastrophic eruption. I think it was it was, it was something eruption. I don't know. But uh, here's the plan, right? Early Empire. We're immediately going to go for colonization, and uh, I think that's fine for now. And dedication-wise, we'll go for monumentality, because it's going to be cheaper gold-wise to buy one. It's called Republic, I think. Good. And we are going to now go for... Okay, what are we going to do here? Urban planning. Two influence points. Caravanseries, I think, is the best move. All right, and then you're going to go get the Ancestral Hall. And we are going to be able to buy a Settler in the next turn. We'll go Mysticism for a free Envoy to also get Suzerainty of Bologna. Geneva. Yeah, Bologna. We'll get, we'll get Bologna. Near the Swamps. I'm going to have to settle on the Swamp here, but I think it's going to be worth it in the end. Oh, yes, look at all that swamp land. Oh, my good. Yeah, perfect. Yep, right on that. Right on that Plains Hill. Right up. There, just right up there. I could put another city over there, and I don't think that's the worst idea. It's not the worst city in the world. Also, we could do some uh, Chocolate Hills Preserve type things. And I think we're going to sort of enroach on Canada a little bit, but I think that's also fine. That's a lot of cities. Lots of cities, and we have lots of production to get these cities. So I'm going to... Yeah, let's, let's begin sending out the expeditions um, I did say I wanted the Vampire Secret Society. And I think I... Yeah, I do. I do. We'll wait till the medieval era in order to get them. And then for now, this guy could just go ahead and deal with the barbs. Uh, Canada calls me evil. So you know I really am uh, kind of messed up in the head when Canada starts calling you evil. Can I get salt? Good. I'll give you the Diplo favor for salt, even though that's probably a dumb idea. But hey, we're sort of keeping up in science a little bit. Kind of. Okay, that's pretty bad. Um, let's try to ignore these guys. Oh, no. Oh, I think, we, okay, we just found an encampment up there. That's fine. Good. We'll go get a farm up there, and then we can just go get that deer tile up there, and then you're going to keep running. Run to Canada for safety. Yup, and uh, we're looking good right now. I don't know if there's another sieve. I think this map had two continents, so I'm assuming everyone else is on the other continent. There's a city of Uwu Nuwu, my favorite Egyptian city by far. Uh, that's a really good swamp. I just can't get over how amazing these swamp tiles are, especially early game. Let's move there. Let's move there. Well, next, that's another really good swamp location. I think... Here's what I'm going to do, right? Because I this really isn't the best uh, Petra location. We'll settle right on top of that city. And then this guy over here uh, could settle, like, right there, I think. Just to get the swamps. Also to get all those sweet desert tiles. And it's a little bit better of a Petra city. I'd love to get Kilwa right now. But I think... Mm, I, we got we got to get the settlers. We got to get the settlers. I, I think we just have to continue going for settlers right now. Do that. More error score. Don't really need it right now, though. And can I buy another settler right now? I think I could, probably. Not yet. Another builder. And you're just going to get that sweet pasture, and then you're going to fight this guy. Cool. Uh, we'll settle the city immediately. Great. I love how they have amazing tiles to work already. This is just... This has been the perfect uh, Etamanaki game. I'm not going to lie. Oh, there's a barb up there. Yeah, we're kind of screwed. Uh, let's just stop. Oh, we can't buy a settler either. Let's trade the horde. Nope, he doesn't really iron. He does like his iron, doesn't he? We still need a little bit more gold, though. Diplo favor, and then diplo favor, and uh, we'll just buy another settler. And here in this city, we'll just get ourselves a granary for now. We do want to work these cities up a little bit. They are going to take a while to get strong, but once they do, whoo! Even though Anshan was in the game. That's probably why they're so... No, they don't have any envoys in Anshan. Hmm. All right. Uh, we'll send this trader out to below... Okay, there it is. Perfect. Nice free envoy up there. We'll settle right up there, and we just immediately have perfect tiles to work. And just because I am sort of a gambling man, 60 faith for 85 gold, it's a... It's not that good. It's pretty bad, I think. I don't know. I don't gamble. I don't really gamble, but I don't think that's a very good deal. 
Uh, you want my silver for 84 gold, uh, while considering you're the only market I have. Really, supply and demand kind of... Let's go ahead and get that next settler. Yep, okay. Uh, nothing happened. Settle that city. I think that's that's probably 11 cities. I don't know how many cities that is at this point. Four, five, eight, ten. That's 10 cities at this point with a lot more coming in. That's going to be 11. So we have 10 cities by turn 87, which is nothing so short of exceptional. We could yeah, so potentially lost, even enough. still get the Golden Age if we wanted to. In any case, you're going to found the city and you are immediately going to buy a boat. Yes. There we go. Arrow score as well. Okay. For, we're going to get a Golden Age. We're going to get a back-to-back -back Golden Age. And I'm so happy about it. Uh, how many more settlers do we need here? Uh, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need at least six, maybe seven. Let's go with this city first. You get a mine up there for more yields, resources, all that good stuff. And we are looking good. Let me know down below in the comments exactly how good you think the city's going to be. How much population do you think Shrek Swamp is going to get? And what turn do you think I'm winning in? I don't think it's going to be a sub-turn 200, but I think it's going to be a very fast victory. We'll go Monumentality. Rising Hunger is perfect. So now what I think I'm going to do is I need to get Vampire Camps. Where do I get them is the best question. Let's do that. Production-wise here, we're just going to get more settlers. How many more do we need? Uh, you're going to go over there, I think. We can get another city up there. I think we will. We might as well at this point. Uh, yeah, sure. How many cities? Because we have that city. Good. We have that city. Good. And uh, this guy, we have that city. So we only need we only need five settlers at this point. Let's get a library in there. Can't really get a good campus, I don't think. So we'll just uh, trade, maybe. Do you have any money? No. All right, we'll just get the watermill for right now, then. Uh, okay, vampire castle time. There we go. Look at all of those yields. Perfect. And this builder here is just going to go get that. You're going to go get the corporation, and we're just going to next turn it. In fact, maybe getting the corporation there is the better idea. Yeah. Bravery. You're giving me growth and three housing. You move through there. And the vampire castle is only going to get better. We have 68 production in Shrek Swamp. Beautiful. Abidos right there. Settle that and uh, just get a farm. Even though it's probably going to get burnt in like the next couple turns. Get a mine for more production. Final city over there. You're... I think you were supposed to... Yeah, you're supposed to settle that city over there. The city of Sean Mendez. Get the monument. That's that. That's not a really good great scientist. Uh, let's move up there. University in this city, and we'll just next turn it for right now. People settle too close. I'll take your Diplo favor, but I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm going to be set. I got two more cities that's going to be right up on your border, Canada. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep it real with you. I always forget to get construction until like super late. So we'll just do that for now. Give me a monument up there, and then you're going to go smack that guy around. Canada probably doesn't like me, but he hasn't wanted to be an ally for a while. Look at this. Oh my god. 18 production, 12 science, and 24 food. All going to my capital. We almost have 100 production without an industrial zone. That's how great this game has been. Chosen campus gains housing and amenities. Increases non-food yield benefits of happiness. That's probably... A, that's a really good great scientist. Uh, I think that's my campus. That's my campus, right? That is my campus, okay. And then I think you're, we're, we'll just buy a settler when we can. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move Pingala to my capital. And then Magnus, it doesn't matter where you go. Go to the city of... I think my second best city is going to be... Where's my second best city? I don't know. I think it's going to be a poo. I think a poo... I, I guess a poo for now. We can switch it up later, but a poo's looking like the best city for right now. Get that. Just absolutely one shot this guy come at me again barbarians i dare you hey you know what i'd rather get culture really fast so let's go pingala right here and then we'll go connoisseur for culture look at this we're at 251 60.4 what's it gonna be after we get pingala and shrek swamp next turn let's see 250 and 6 let's just say 251 and 60 let's see few inventions have been so 293 and 83 that is great that, that magnifique okay now we're fine we're fine we'll be able to get that coal eventually let's keep exploring Good. Uh, we'll settle this last city we're going to settle up there. And I think right now we're just going to get a farm. I think we're just going to get the Petra immediately if we can. Yep. Yeah, I'll just get the Petra immediately. It's really the only reason I have this city. 
Uh, honestly, buying these Marsh Chows would make it a lot better, but I do have to save up for the last settler I do want to buy. Oh my god, why is it so expensive? Isaac Newton is perfect. Instantly builds a library and a university. I think I'm going to way save this guy. Anyone? Okay, Abidos is building a campus. We'll just uh, use this guy after the campus is finished. You're getting that plus four. We're sacrificing way too much gold, though. Caravel, I'm going to control you. There's the other... You see, it was that simple. You didn't need me to tell you exactly what to do. God damn Caravel, man. Is this how Christopher Columbus felt when his crew just, like, screwed sad. him over that one time? Ozami? Was it Christopher Columbus? I don't know. It might have been. I, I'm, I'm not too familiar with the lore of just, like, uh, history of Christopher Columbus. Heinz per turn. Like, God damn. There's a Zulu. Has he been boned by the Zulu? No, Zulu's at 46 science per turn. All right, who wants my luxuries? I need 2,600 gold immediately. I'll take your deal. It seems better. I am making some coal, which is nice. A couple turns. I could get another trader, and I think I will. The day we start There's exploration. I'm going to go get Merchant Republic right now. Militarily, I really can't use any of this. Retainers, maybe. Republican Legacy, of course. We'll remove colonization. Urban planning doesn't sound too good either. Merchant Confederation. Um, Civil Prestige, I think, is better than urban planning. Just so I could get, like, my capital city as many amenities as possible. Uh, what happened? There it is. Coal power plant, I think. Yes. Where's the IZ? Can't get an aqueduct. Uh, we could go Intelligence Agency. Diplo Quarter could be nice. The Ruhr Valley is just game-changing, though. Yes. Place the university. Get the industrial zone up there. And you are just going to get uh, your first campus, probably. But in our entire game. I think we need more trade routes, probably. It's probably a good idea. Probably in this city. I'll get a trade route in this city. Oh, just so I could get the Petra a little faster. Making more than enough Diplo favor. We could trade some away. Uh, Canada's in a normal age, just like me. I think we're just going to go... Monumentality is the only good one. Yeah. Get an iron mine up there, and then you can just go get your corporation as well. Perfect. And, uh, yeah, not a lot we could really trade away. And it's a continent's map, so religious victory really isn't going to happen at all. There's no chance of that. Uh, I can't trade with Canada here for some reason. Well, to Bologna we go, I guess. Finally, last civilization we meet is Guitarja. I, how many cities do we have on the coast? Is she going to like... Oh, she's not going to like us. No. Especially with our society being evil. Most of my cities are on the coast. Yeah. All right. Well, that's not going to be good. Should be okay for right now. Um, cool. Cool, cool, cool. The industrial There's the Ruhr Valley. And that is a lot of production we're going to be are... getting. We don't have a lot of mines, I know. We're still at 118. Uh, I'm going to skip this guy. I don't really need him. Yup. And we'll get the entertainment complex. We'll get it up. One, two, three. I don't want to remove any of these. We'll get it up there. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the Colosseum anyway. Could I? If I can get the Colosseum, I might sacrifice one of my sugar tiles. No, it's already taken at this point. Although, do we have any camps for the Temple of Artemis? Not really. Uh, So true. I'm not scared for my life. No, because <laughs> you're right beside me. We have like the same army strength as well. I don't know what you're talking. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, this great scientist here, we're just going to use him immediately. There's steam power. Research labs everywhere we can. Uh, you're just going to buy that. I guess this, this could also be a really good campus location. Let's just chop that and get a mine for right now, just to get the uh, dam a little faster. Quadream's not looking too good. Wow, she actually thinks I don't have a lot of cities on the coast. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, I guess. I, Science. <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be friends with you, I guess. That's fine. Yes, I could. I could get salt and amber, but that's it trade with you still negative amenities Oof. we could get oxford how long until canada gets it canada's real uh, might be even okay how much production is oxford no nah, we're not getting oxford that great engineer isn't going to be enough there there we Keep go sign. there's rocketry and we can now go for satellites nanotech really nice tech path though this is a really nice late game tech path because we'd be able to get this, know exactly where Exoplanet is, and then we'd be able to get that tech at the end. That's actually really, really nice. I don't know. Get the market. I don't know. There's there's a chance. Sub two ah, sub two hundred's pretty tough though. That's the thing. Uh we'll get the intelligence agency and then immediately go for the spaceport somewhere. Uh it has to be. Replace one of the marshes. Or replace one of the marshes. Um Okay. 
I'll get trade routes everywhere for the most part. Yeah, I'll try to get trade routes everywhere and then we'll try to beeline. Yeah, we'll try to get uh, theater squares and trade routes everywhere, I think. Petra there is Petra big. in this city. That's fine. You could do that and then now you could get the corporation 40% growth and six housing. Acme Sugar Limited. Nah. Nah. Direct Sugar Limited. Oh. oh, there we go. It, it did save. We are going to get a Golden Age next era, though. No doubt about it. Um, you're just going to stay... Yeah, you guys can just colonize that, I guess. Just just do whatever. I don't really care. Uh, it's next turn. We're going to get satellites super soon. And these guys are... Just, okay, well, uh, I think I have to say right now, we do not condone suicide on the Civ Lifer channel, of course. But uh, So don't listen to what those barbarians are trying to tell you. It's not worth it. Uh, here, we could just... Um, and we'll do one Envoy to Bologna. That's a little, that's a lot more science because we do have research labs almost everywhere. Uh, also, colonialism would be nice too. We do have three envoys. Our ma should be pretty Hear easy. The dark There's the Earth satellite. Uh, no other industrial city state, or no science city state, sorry. Moon landing in eight turns. It's re. Ha! Ah, I don't know. I don't know. Let's get a commercial hub. Let's get a commercial. I don't think we're going to get sub 200. I'm fairly certain we're not. It really does depend on how this tech path looks right now and how our production I looks as well um we'll just get this guy it's 100 to each great people that's good that's fine uh workshop i think i'm gonna buy the archaeological museum to boost one of the uh, civics we have how long until we get the i don't know it's gonna be a while until we could actually get another governor title we are getting we could get a lot of uh, envoys could potentially get... Ooh, we could get friends with Canada. We could get friends with Canada. We could make an alliance with the Canadians. That's a lot of science. There's the moon landing. We're now on the moon. We have won the space race. Game over. GG well played. Research alliance. Good. No one's like even... No one's even close to like being against me in uh, research or whatever. I'll launch the Mars colony in 10 turns. Nah, we're not winning by a four turn. Um, we're not winning sub 200. Uh, what Mom, is... Okay, shut up, Solomon. I don't care about your old former empire. Let's go... Mm, I don't know. Class There's class struggle. That's big. Why? Uh, remove the marsh. I think I have to move this guy back. Oh, crap. Move this guy just in case. We gotta... Yeah. There's class struggle, though, I guess. We'll go communism. The production's gonna be massive for us. Uh, military... Just whatever. None of this is gonna matter. Uh, collectivization liberalism we don't need the science as much we just need on uh housing i think um yes amenities and housing let's do that shrek swamp right now is fine yes yes it's fine i don't know why i did that but that's fine okay just beeline towards the end science is fine we just need production you're the one who can build a vampire castle okay uh yeah we're not getting the great scientists i'm gonna be real to be completely honest here, it's not going to happen. Albert Einstein gives me science, which is nice. Um, nah, I, we were close. We were close. Almost a sub-200 victory. I guess I could use it to clickbait the title a little bit, but aside from that, really not the best situ- I mean, ah, we were close. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, probably. There's off-world mission. We have all the text for it. Why can't I- It's probably because of the rice tile, isn't it? Do that. We'll do the trader. Uh, let's just go ahead and be like future tech for right now. Stay fortified. Spy here is just going to stay in Shrek Swamp and stay in, yeah, stay in that. Although I should have probably went to the spaceport. It's fine. 1,250 science. We are super far ahead of the competition. Yeah, we really are. There's the Mars colony. There's conservation. I think what would have helped me out is like, I went for culture early on thinking I'd need more science in the late game, but it really wasn't science that kind of screwed me over. It was the, uh move there it was the uh great scientist that i didn't have that kind of screwed me over a little bit uh we'll launch the exoplanet expedition but nine turns it's way too long yeah we're not getting sub 200 we'll go get suzerainty of cardiff right now i think totalitarianism i don't think i could do that but uh i mean hey we'll probably be sub 210 because we're finishing the exoplanet before 200 we're definitely doing that harvest the marsh tile thing there we go that's the vampire castle you'll love and see uh, let's hit next turn right now as well. Good. Uh, 27, who lost his Ranity? Bologna. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, we, yeah, yeah, it's fine, I guess. We'll do that. 
campus those research grants and uh just stay fortified and you can just stay asleep i guess next turn it six turns until we get the exoplanet expedition launched just take out all my anger on the barbarians no i am not uh don't even know how to make a joke say goodbye gentle eruption that doesn't look gentle 1300 science per turn oh my god i don't even have the globalization civic either it's pretty nice let's finish off the commercial hub the next turn it good 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 what's the weather looking like nothing really i think it's everyone is so far behind like look at that wilford's second place and his like latest technology is just like towards uh nuclear power or whatever he's, he isn't even towards spaceship parts Dreams. let's do that We'll next turn it, and next turn we do get the Exoplanet Expedition. But I think the other thing is if we just build campuses and then immediately go campus research grants everywhere, I think that would be a good idea to get the great scientists. There yeah, it really would be. Market. And then just go like camp build a campus and immediately campus research grants and just only build uh, science buildings. I guess that's a pretty good strategy. I'm not really too familiar with the strategy for sub 200. I know it's surround yourself with science city states and make a really strong capital city. But uh, aside from that, I, I, I'll try some things in the future for sure. Let's go back to Lagrange. It is 200 right now. And how far away were we? Science wise, three light years, six out of 50. We were about 44 divided by three. We were 10 to 11 turns away. It's going to be, it's going to be more, I think, because we're getting a lot other, a lot more laser stations. There is nothing like it. There's that. I think the other thing would be if I could just sort of like surround my capital with mines and also surround it with sort of like uh, industrial zones. Get coal power plants and then boost it up to like three to 400 production. And then use my other cities to get like a lot of culture. So I get like e-commerce a lot faster. I think that might be a really good idea. Uh, but aside from that, we'll, 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 try to do, we'll try to do that probably in the next... I, I don't want to make any promises, but in the next little while, I will try to go for sub 200. Let's renew the mission. We're gonna get another thing next turn that's fine we do have plenty of power we're traveling four light years per turn gonna be five uh i'm fairly certain we win before turn Even two ten especially since we build these like every two turns it's the power looking like i think we have more than enough also the great engineer bonuses as well as the great scientist ones could have helped out a lot we'll do that i do sort of have a strategy for how i could build all the things i need Even and immediately go campus see. research grants i'll leave it for the future as well i do have one strategy i have in mind which would get me like a super fast victory but i'll leave that for the future you just stay fortified ondini's rebelled uh what's going on everywhere else actually i don't know how the zulu are so bad when it comes to science i mean everyone here except for eleanor yeah but eleanor had like the entire continent to expand to it seems like Probably why she's the only, like, scientific civ. And by scientific, I mean... No. It's going to be technically a turn 209 science victory. So I'll take it. I definitely think we played this game a lot better than, uh, than usual, for sure. Definitely just amazing, amazing tiles. This was a really nice strategy. Wetlands surrounded my marshes. Some vampire castles here and there. And getting amazing 3-3-3 three, three, and 3 marsh... Three, three, and three marshes style. It was insane. But there it is. The turn 209. Louis XV. After me, the flood. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like a Reddit response or something. What is that quote? After me, the flood. I'd be picking out of all this. You got Augustus saying, like, you got, I left, I left Rome, a city of marble or something like that. And you got some really nice quotes. And then you just have Louis just going, after me, the flood. This game was just insane. Buildings wise, we just crushed it. Turn 100 and uh, I think that was 115-ish. We just crushed it. Cities founded like ever since like turn 70. We were just like cruising. We were cruising for the game. Uh, science this is what I want to see. Look at this. Look at this. Just boom, 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 boom. Just stonks right there. I actually felt like Amazon stonks for like like just the entire game we were just skyrocketing the entire time. But I hope y'all enjoyed as always. Leave a like, subscribe as always i already said that but uh let me know down below uh what i should you think i should do to get a sub 200 victory and let me know exactly what games you want to see me play next i do have a catalog but i'm always open to uh responses and ideas and uh without further ado i will see you on the next video peace Huge shout out to Cash Christian, Ben Ombi, John Blair, Jackson Perez, Adam Mester, Empyrium, Polska Bob, and Jeff Yutzler. And a huge shout out to Kim Cosmos, Mick James, JH, Polaris Gaming, Robert, and Overflow of Amenities.